do remember really well. I remember this pretty well in like a rural history class in middle school when they said uh, uh, English folk or people from England or the, the UK were traveling the spice trade in like India in some sort of like parts of Asia was uh, really you know. It, it was it was great. These people were traveling this far to, to get spices to bring back to England, which I think goes along with the line of what Alan has said is that white people don't know how to season their food. I think a lot of uh, a lot of uh, white colonialism stems from just trying to season chicken. <laughs> I, you're you not wrong. Like this chicken just fucking it's boiled. Let's look at these look at these unsuspecting brown folk. Let's go cough on them and eat their fucking curried chicken. It's it's better this way. <laughs> well, I watched uh, it was an episode of like one of Gordon Ramsay's five television shows, and he was in India, and he's just like the best thing that ever happened to British food was coming to India and taking the spices because British food was bland and nothingness until we got this. And and I was like, holy shit, like that may actually be the only reason the British took over the entire like subcontinent of yeah. India is because they just wanted better food. Hey, That's it. We're taking all this stuff with us and uh you know we're gonna go we're gonna rule this land and while we're at it you're gonna drive on the right side of the road. All right? Fuck you, good day. Yeah. That's that's. You think that was the parting gift? Yeah, hundred <clears throat> percent. And while you're at it, here's here's cricket. You'll be better than us at it in a few hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does kind of like command the Indian Ocean and all that stuff from a naval yeah. standpoint. But, but yeah, they were totally like, "Yo, look at this fucking curry powder and fucking cumin and fu- look at all this shit. This sh- we don't have this shit." <laughs> We just boil our shit in bean water, and that's it. That's what we got. It's fucking English. But, and I'm not defending uh, the ancestors of the past or anything, but if you live on a chunk of land that is dreary and rainy and only grows, like, root plants, like, edible roots, you might go a little batshit crazy for some fucking spice and seasonings. Yeah. You might. You might go a little nuts for some herbs. Someone, someone having like a, a thimble's full in their palm, and be like, "Hey, take a take a whiff of this." And you, you think God put that on there for you? Like, wow, oh God, is that drugs? No, sir, that's that's cumin. Oh, I swear, it tastes like drugs. It smells like drugs. Drugs. in a jar. Cause whiskey dick ain't something that I fear. <laughs> 